Here I am, in this room, locked in or locked out. They don't tell me. Is it dark in here? Is it very dark? There's only one miserable light. Am I alone? Is poor Mr. Lovecraft alone? Oh, don't feel sorry for me. I belong here with my book, my book of stories. Listen. Can you hear it? I hear the world turn, humming, grinding. The sparks fly up and I catch them. What are they, those sparks? They are the stories of poor, suffering humanity. <laughs> I find them. <laughs> they come to me, whispered through the keyhole, written in the dust. So many stories. And this story, it came down the wires to me, through the ether and the air. Oh, yes. That's how it came. Through all your lovely technology. Listen. What is it? You open it and find out. That's the thing with presents. He once gave me a spider for my birthday. In a shoebox, I remember, about that size. Look, it's a perfectly nice Christmas present. Two weeks late. I'll take it back if you like. No. You're welcome to stay for dinner. Steph went completely mad on the amount of food, as always. Oh, my God! Well, what do you think? Nice and shiny. I pre-programmed a few things, put on a bit of music. My phone number, of course. Some photos. Your wedding. You know what she's like? She wouldn't know how to turn it on. He's jealous. He's right. How do you turn it on? Here. I've got one myself. Exactly the same. It looks amazing. Thanks a million, Ray. You must be doing very well whole new set of speakers for me and this. Uh, look, I've got a head. Where are you off to? I won't tell you. I wish you'd stay for dinner. Yeah, and... another time, promise. Keep an eye on her. <laughs> he doesn't have to. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Good God. What's happening? What is it? OK. No. No. That's the make, all right. I, I don't know about the registration. Jamie? You're absolutely sure it's my brother. Ray Isley. It can't... Oh, I'm listening. What's good? Nobody else involved. That's... Yeah. That's... OK, I'll, I'll write that down now. I'll probably have to call you back. I'm not sure I've taken it all... Yeah. You're very kind. Thank you. What is it? I'll call you back in about half an hour. Thanks. What do we do now, Jamie? We go home. It just feels funny leaving him there. Yeah. On his own. Yeah. I've only ever been to old people's... old people's funerals. Look, I'm probably going up to Mum and Dad's this weekend. Of course. You needn't come. Of course I'll come. No, I think it might be better for Mum. Just me. Right. I shouldn't have cried like that. <laughs> Don't be daft. Well, the Supersonics devastated the Jazz, 136 to oh, 78. Shut up. It was the trail over the box, 98. Hi, this is Ray. Leave a message and I will call you back. Oh, this is Probably. just... morbid. Hi, this is Ray. Leave a message and I will call you back. Promise. Hello there. Hello there, you poor bastard. The Egypt. 
How are you? A stupid question. I'm very sorry. I really am. I have nothing to say. We're all so upset. Your mum... Jamie's with your mum. I'm here in the house getting a bit. Look, all I wanted to say was, good luck. Goodbye. Goodbye, Ray. Rest in peace. Do you want to sit next to me? Come and sit next to me. I want to finish this marking. I'll take the dog out for a walk later. It'll be dark soon. That has to be the most annoying ringtone on the planet. Can't you change it? Ray, put it on. I'm not going to get sentimental about a ringtone. Answer it or turn it off. It stopped. Who was it? I don't care. Can I get on with this? Sure. Steph! Sorry, it's at the bottom of my bag. Hi, hi, hi there. Can you speak up? Steph, Steph. You're breaking up? Yeah, I am. Who is this? I don't want to hear this. I'm sorry, but his name came up. It's on the logged calls list. You can see it yourself. He rang me. Please look. I can't even begin. I, this isn't helping me. You talking this rubbish. I'm trying to deal with it. He's dead. He can't phone. He can't phone you because he's dead. If you just look. He probably redistributed his number to someone else. But how did they, this new person, get my number? I don't know. But I do know this isn't helping. Maybe that's it. Maybe he needs help. No, he doesn't. How do you know? Because he's dead. Dead people don't need anything. They're dead. But... We're not going to talk about this anymore. I, I don't know why you're saying this. I don't want to hear it. I'm going home. What about the dog? Wait! You fetch him. There's someone sitting there. There isn't. Can you move your bag? Sorry. <coughs> Those things are a complete pest. Excuse me. Hello? Hello? Steph? Is that you? Yes, of course it bloody is. Where are you? I'm on a bus. So am I. Good to hear your voice. Where are you? You can't be on a bus. I haven't been on one for years. Not my style. I can see trees outside the windows. It's very dark. It's morning here. I'm going to work. What? What do you want? I don't know where I'm going. Is that really you, Ray? Are you still there? What can I do to help? I don't know. You don't have to worry about anyone. Everything is all right. Oh, I'm losing you. Ray? Ray? Are you there? Say something. Damn. Hi, this is Ray. Leave a message and I will call you. Ray, pick up. Oh. Pick up. You do realise you're shouting. That was my brother-in-law on the phone. He's not in the country. He shouldn't be phoning me. There's no peace. They can phone from anywhere these days. Satellites. What does he want? He's probably homesick. Lonely. We all get lonely. I don't believe it. It's not. Excuse me, I have to get off. I feel... I don't feel well. Oh, you look a mess. The bus broke down. I had to walk in. God, oh, sit down. It's been quite enough so far, which means the phones will be hopping in about five minutes. I'll go and do the restock. No, I don't mind. I'd rather... <sighs> I'm out of breath. I don't want to answer. No, I won't answer. Just leave it then. I can't. I have to. What's wrong with you? Is this a joke? Is this someone's idea of a sick, bloody joke? Where is this place? What? I'm not on the bus anymore. I'm on a road. I'm walking. I'm here walking. Where? Where am I? I don't know. How should I know? This is horrible. 
There's no signposts or anything? Bushes? Trees? I don't recognise anything. It's dark. Can you hear me? What do you want? What do I do now? Stop this. <laughs> Am I in a coma? No. What then? Ray. Help me. Is there... Is there anyone else there? Do you want to talk to someone else? I don't want you talking to anyone else. I don't. Absolutely not. I just wondered if you were alone. So far? I don't like it. I don't like this place. Steph, you all right, girl? That was my... Someone who keeps ringing me. But you can get those calls blocked. No, I know him. He's a friend. In trouble. You're married now. My brother-in-law. Risky. Fun. No. Nothing like. Yes? Why haven't you answered? I've been trying for ages to get through. It's the middle of the night. The phone was on silent. I'm in the back of a Land Rover now, a, a dirt track. It's throwing me all over the place. Can you explain what the hell's going on? No. Have I gone mad? No. Then what? Tell me. That, that, that's an order. Oh, Ray. I'm sorry. What? You're... What? Dead. Don't be daft. You are! I went to the funeral. Jamie went to see you in the coffin before. You're dead. Cremated. So we're having a seance, are we? How cosy. I don't like this. <laughs> Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? No. Are you frightened? No. I am. I'm very, very frightened. Help me. What can I do? What do you want? Steph? Sorry, I have to go. Uh, don't cut me off, Steffi. I'm... Did I wake you up, hon? Mm. What the hell time is it? Are you on the phone? Wrong number, that was all. I'm going to stop answering. I can't keep doing this. Doing what? Mmm, dinner smells lovely. Can you smell it? Of course I can't bloody smell it. Jamie's in the other room, I can't talk. He's not in the other room, he's not in the house. How do you know? I'm getting better at this, darling. It's a train now. What is? I'm on a train. Old-fashioned steam. What will I do when the ticket collector comes? Do you have a ticket? I don't have anything. There are no pockets in the clothes of the dead, no zips, no buttons, no colour in the cloth. Do you want me to talk to a priest? Talk to whoever you like. I'm not the jealous type. Unlike someone we it's not. know... He has no reason to be. Look, if there's something I can do, I'll do it. I'm sure there must be. I just have to think what it is. There he is. Who? Key in the door. Something burning. Oh, I just remembered. They're supposed to be unlucky, aren't they? I'm sorry? Lilies. My man won't have them in the house. Sorry. The flowers are lovely. I'm not superstitious. Good. That's great. Neither am I. Are you sure you won't have a cup of tea or coffee? No, no caffeine. Keeps me awake. I'm awake half the night as it is. How are you? Oh, pretty well. It's just so dreadful. You were very fond of Ray, I know. He liked you. He was a good man, wasn't he? Yes. Not a saint. Not a devil, either. He took after my own father. A rather dashing character. He wouldn't have something on his conscience, would he? Something troubling him. Something we should do for him on this side. This side? In case he wasn't at rest. At peace. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm following. It's hard to talk to Jamie at the moment. He's very... you know... remote. Well, it's a difficult time. I'm sure you understand that, and we grieve in our different ways. If you could talk to Ray, if you could speak to him one last time, what would you say? That isn't a helpful idea. That's what I'm trying to say. He needs help. Jamie will cope. I don't mean... It was very kind of you to pop round. I was desperate. Stephanie... Right on cue, right on bloody cue. I have to go. Sorry. Listen to me. I really have to go. If I don't answer, he just keeps ringing. Don't be a slave to those things. Turn it off. I can't. I can't even turn it to silent anymore. And the battery's always full. Sorry, sorry, sorry.
This is the third phone call today. It's your fault. It was you who called me. You rang me first. You called me back. I was on my way somewhere. Are you on a boat now? Yeah. That's good. If you're crossing a river, that's good. You cross the river and on the other side is heaven. Uh, I'm in a rowboat in the middle of an ocean, sweetie. No land in sight. Who's... Is there someone there with you, you know... Like a ferryman. In the words of the cheesy old song, I can feel the oars moving, but I'm not looking around to see who's pulling them. No, thank you. He might be meant to. I don't know who was driving the train, or the bus, or who made the road I walked on. I don't know anything. I can't keep... I can't keep talking to you. I'm not letting you go. I thought you liked me. Tell him it's Jam from work. Bye. What are you doing sitting here in the dark? Talking to Jan from work. Boyfriend trouble, again. Mum rang me. I went round earlier. Yeah. Nobody needs any more drama. Of course not. What's going on? Do you want me to tell you? Yeah. I keep getting phone calls from Ray. On my mobile. He keeps ringing me. He wants something. He seems... Every time I speak to him, he's on a train, on a bus, on a boat, moving... But he doesn't know where he is, where he's going. He's lost. He didn't even know he was dead. I had to tell him. I wanted to stop. I don't know what to say to him. I'm frightened. He sounds... not that nice sometimes. Great. I'm not crazy. No, no. That would be a bit much, wouldn't it? You going crazy so soon after my brother gets killed, that would be really bad luck. Did I upset your mum? She was worried. For me. I didn't do anything to make this happen. This would be the kind of stunt he'd play, of course. And getting you involved. He didn't like me to have things he didn't. I am not a thing. I wish you would believe me. No. Were you talking to him just then? I mean, as far as you were concerned, were you talking to him? Yeah. He lied to me then. Boyfriend trouble. I panicked. He knew you were coming in. The last thing he said was to say it was Jan on the phone. Oh, right. He told you to lie, did he? Yeah, but it's my fault I did. You must miss him a lot. I haven't had the chance to, really. I wish he'd leave me alone. Give me the phone. What are you going to do? Come and watch. One phone. One spade. Are you watching? Yeah. That's it. That's over. Thank you. You're shaking. Steph? I'll be all right now. I can't believe you're saying this. I'm just being practical. I don't want one. I've managed perfectly well without one for the last month. I need to be able to talk to you. We live in the same house. We sleep in the same bed. I'm on the phone at work if you want me. You don't want this turning into some kind of phobia. Are we going to have a row? A new phone, brand new, different make and model. Nothing to do with the last one. There'll be a lot going on in the next couple of months. What? Well, there's going to be some changes. What's that mean? <coughs> Has something happened? Tell me. Not for one thing... We can start thinking about having kids. Kids? Yeah. You have told me 100 million times we can't afford we it. We couldn't. We can now. Explain. I was talking to the lawyer. What lawyer? We don't have a lawyer. Ray's lawyer. It was quite a conversation. Ray left everything to me, seemingly. What? The new house, the place in Spain, insurance. I haven't gone through all the figures, but... Hold on. We'll sell his place, of course, and our flat gets somewhere really nice. You've always wanted a garden. Have I? There'll be a lot to organise. A lot happening. Estate agents, lawyers, will need to stay in touch. You need a phone. It's pretty great news, isn't it? I've been in shock about it, to be honest. I hadn't thought about any of that. You don't. It is quite a lot of money. Yeah. Look, it's a perfectly natural thing. People die and leave things to their families. We've been doing that since the world began. There's nothing odd or... Nothing to feel except pleased. I've been very patient. He was my brother. I don't want you ruining this. I won't. 
How about the simplest thing you have? Something sleek? Just something simple. No functions. I don't want a camera, a radio, an onboard computer, just a phone. And I don't care what it looks like. I don't care if it looks like a brick. Kid or granny? Pardon? Is it for a kid or granny? We're very busy. It's for me. Back up, is it? And pay as you go. I don't want the other kind. OK. Now, this is popular amongst the old folks. Sturdy, basic. It's tri-band FM radio. Rubbish reception, the camera's crap, but you'll never use it. This do you? Fantastic. All right. I'll set it up for you while you fill in the forms. Do you have an old SIM card you want to use? No. Yeah. What's that? No, it shouldn't do that. And it shouldn't have a name in it. It's called a display. Let me see. Oh, God. I'm not answering. Look, I I'm sorry. It must be a customer return. I I'll get you a new one. Won't be a minute. What's going on? It's OK. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. Don't answer the phone. Don't answer the phones. Any of them. really hard to get across sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. You can be stuck for ages here, waiting for the lights to change. Oh, uh, excuse me. Hello? What? Sorry? Oh, uh, just a moment. Yes, there is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, right. It's for you. What? Someone looking for you, apparently. This is just ridiculous. Give it to me. Get off the phone and get out of my life. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Are you all right? Oh, God. Someone call for an ambulance. But can you hear me? Yes, you are conscious. I was just talking to her. Can you hear me? But keep me. Oh, God. It won't be long. They'll be here soon. We seem to be experiencing a little turbulence. Please ensure that your seat belt is fastened, your seat back is in a fully upright position, and your tray table is clipped up and stowed away. Good to see you, Steffi. What's happened? I'll be blunt, get it over with. No, you're not hallucinating. It is me, Ray, and you're dead. What are we doing on an aeroplane? Good question. Trying to get somewhere, perhaps. That's one possibility. Do you feel a bit chilly? No. No. You think we would feel cold? The windows are iced up. I've been dead for months, and I've not felt anything at all. Had no sleep, no food, no water. Very bad conditions all round. Uh, should we let Amnesty International know what's happening to us? You killed me. No. Well, don't be cross. Cross? What's that? Things falling apart, I suppose. It's a very old plane. Listen to the engine. On this flight today, there are no emergency exits, no life jackets, no breathing apparatus, and in the event of a landing on water, there will be no inflatable exit chutes that convert into life rafts. This isn't serious. I think you'll find it is. Don't do that. They told us to stay in our seats. We have to show Willie. Poor Jamie. Yeah. My mother and father. Dreadful. You're a selfish bastard. Yes, but I can't change now. I'm stuck the way I am. Maybe forever. That's my problem. That's why I needed you. You're a good sort. I can ride in on your coattails. Please switch off your mobile phones, MP3 players, laptops and all electronic devices since they can interfere with the aircraft's navigation systems. Where's my phone? Gone. Not needed anymore. It was just a device. Anyway, that's that's one nice thing. No emails in the afterlife. I'm frightened. Yes. Sorry. We may have a happy ending yet. Who knows? <laughs> it's good to see you. I didn't like being on my own. Why did you pick on me? I liked you. I always liked you. And you liked me. Not that way. Sex. <laughs> what a joke that seems now, doesn't it? Are we going up or down? Would the direction mean anything, you think? Heaven or hell? No, I don't think so. I hope not. We're going down. <laughs> so we are. Have you tried praying? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've sung Christmas carols the lot. 
We apologize for the sudden loss of cabin pressure. What's happening? We apologize for the dimming of the lights. Ray! I'm here. We are preparing to make our descent. This is it. We're arriving. I'm finally getting somewhere. Where, though? Where are we landing? It's so dark. Due to extremely adverse conditions, we must advise passengers to assume the crash position as we come into land. What? We're going down. We're going down. Ray! Ray, where are you? What the hell? A submarine? What am I doing on a submarine? Ray? Ray? Is there anyone there? Oh, don't tell me you landed on that plane and I didn't. That's so unfair. What do I do now? I don't like it here. Is there anybody there? Please? Please? I think we should get a decent price. The market is slowly improving. Divorce, is it? My wife died. Very sorry to hear that. I'm moving away from the area. Very wise. What's that? Radiators. Heating system. Starts up at all hours, to be honest. It's driving me slightly crazy. That will need to be sorted. Of course. Sounds a bit like, you know, in those films. Condemned prisoners passing messages along the cell block. Should we go back to the office, get things rolling? Yeah, let's. Be glad enough to see the back of this place. You call them, they'll call back. Oh, yes. Yes, they will. It's what they do. They want you. That's how the story finishes. Me closing the book. I shut them up. I shut them all in. They are pressed between my pages. That's how it finishes. That's how everything ends. Good night. In Connected by Melissa Murray, Steph was paid by Fiona Glascott, Ray by Joseph Kloska, Jamie by Piers Wenner, and Lovecraft by Stephen Hogan. Mother was Kate Layden, Jan and flight attendant Melissa Advani, elderly passenger Ewan Hooper, shop assistant Rhys Jennings, passerby John Biggins, and passerby to and estate agent by Tessa Nicholson. It was directed by David Hunter. <laughs>